four walls just staring at me with a four year old's finger on the trigger. Eyes full of tears, when an expression so serious. He got me feeling so delirious, cause I don't know what he is or why the little homie here. And so I start to think for a second. Two words, hell or him. So I jumped up, I'm like, hold up, cuz, why the hell you here and where the hell you get the strap from? He pulled the trigger and the bullet flew past me. So I ran to grab little buddy, and then I asked him, why you trying to take my life from me? He said, cuz you took mine from me. So I looked at the boy more carefully, and then the little boy started to scare me. It was like a mirror reflection. He looked like me, he said, can I ask you a question? When you was 18 and you got my mom's pregnant, why you didn't stop her from avoiding the mission? So now I'm at a loss for words. Cause that night, I felt so hurt. We made that decision together, I told him. It's not because I let her. We knew we wouldn't be together. And I was scared and under pressure. I prayed every day before it happened, but ever since then it had a block on my happiness. Cause see, I never meant to harm you. I always would've loved you and sad that I lost you. Thinking how your life would've cost me. Not realizing how much I lost from you. But see, I never would've thought, because everybody thought that I would be a good father. I went and prayed down at the altar, forgetting about the moments and the thoughts I had about you. And it's a different story for your mother. She had a daughter your age, ain't need another. It's not like she was a bad mother, but she still needed her mother to care for her. So everything went straight, let alone that your mom was half gay. I was young and dumb and too hesitant to say, to your moms, everything would be okay. Couple hundred dollars cheaper in another state. And when she knew I wanted you, it was too late. I talked to her right before the operation. One of my worst conversations before this one. So now I hear screaming from my sister, busting in the room with the police and my hitters, asking everybody what's wrong. The little boy's gone. I look back, and blood's on the wall. And on the floor I saw myself stretched out with a bullet through the heart. Paramedics laid the sheets on. Damn, I think my mind's playing tricks on me.